I'm Grant Robertson. I'm one of the product managers of Black Duck. And today I'm going to share one of the exciting new features launched in Black Duck 2023.10, coming out of the end of October. This new feature is the Black Duck Secure Container Scanning Capability, which is available to all Black Duck binary analysis customers who use Black Duck um, as well. And for any new customers who can wish to purchase the Secure Container Scanning module. What this feature allows developers to do is to scan container images by uploading them into Black Duck and get a breakdown of the security, license, and operational risk across the different layers in their application. This allows developers to more easily manage security risk coming from those container images and also supports organizations that might delegate or mandate certain container images or base images that might be needed to build their applications on top of. To show you how this works, let's jump into Black Duck and we can walk through how you can use this new capability. A number of projects that I've scanned in Black Duck, these are all Alpine related images. And one I'm gonna jump into here is this Alpine with 100 layers. Alpine is a very common base image that's used in a lot of container images. When I jump into Black Duck, you'll see the usual breakdown of security, license and operational risk that you're familiar with. And this is the all components view. So this is effectively the net effect of all of those layers being added on top of each other. Containers have these structures of layers, which allows you to add on additional applications, additional components into the application on top of a base image. If you want to see the components inside the base image, we can now navigate into this base layer. And I can see this is an Alpine base image. I can see some of the metadata about that including the version of this is version 3.18.2. I can also see a, a breakdown of the security risk, license risk and operational risk on that base image, along with the components which are identified. Notice I have this component here, which was added in the base image, but it's later removed in a later layer, in this case, layer 11. Contained layers are uh, immutable, but you can remove components in later layers, and that is now reflected in Black Duck. If I jump into layer 11, I can see the command which was executed to produce this layer, in this case, um, apt add curl. I can also see any components which are added or removed. In this case, we've added seven components and removed one component. Notice these components are grayed out because these are then later removed in layer 23. So Black Duck is immediately telling me about this. So I don't need to worry about managing the risk inside this layer individually because they're removed in a later layer. You'll notice this layer, this container image actually has over hundred layers, but most of these have been filtered out. This is because most layers are not interesting from an SCA perspective because they're not adding or removing any new components. For example, layer four is just making a directory. So this has no relevance from an SCA or security standpoint because all this is doing is creating a new directory. So by default, we filter that out but if you did want to view all those layers, you can do by just clicking this checkbox. So how would a developer typically use this? Well, most developers are really interested in the layers that they add on top of base images. So they'd be really looking at anything below, or sorry, anything above the base image before where they've added or removed components or security risks. And one of the things that we often hear is that developers are not really focused on assessing the security risks of a base image, as this might go through some um, approval process within the organization, or maybe these components are not actually exploitable with how the application is actually deployed. So to mimic this, what we can do is we can triage all of these issues on the base image by going into a base image, selecting all the components, and then we can just ignore all of these components. When we do that and then jump back into the all components page, we now see a more filtered breakdown showing just a net effect of the security risk and components without any of those ignored components coming from base image. I'm Grant Robertson, and this is the feature in Black Duck 2023.10 around secure container scanning. Thank you very much for watching.